Hello, and welcome back to some more Feed the Beast. I've done quite a bit in uh, the week that you guys have been gone. I got a coke oven up and running. I upgraded several chests. Got a squeezer and a centrifuge. Actually, I had the squeezer before. But I have an apiary now. As you can see, I have some more seed oil in there. And I have a couple more of these. I made a beelizer. And we are going to be doing some work with some bees and some other stuff today. I also made a uh, canvas bag, which you can see in my hot bar. I'll open that up in a second, probably because I'm going to have to store some more bees in there. Yep. So this is the canvas bag. And I have my turtle in there, because I need to take him out and find a spot where you can decimate the landscape. And a canvas bag basically is just... A uh, canvas bag is just to hold other stuff. It's like an extra inventory basically. I actually have enough to make another right here. I have some more string. And as you can see there's a trap door here. If we go down uh, I'm going to grab a chest actually just so I can show you because I don't want to lose all this stuff. Uh, you know what? Let's take the risk. We're going to take the risk. So down here I've been doing some stuff with Mistcraft. Now that's not something that's normally in the Feed the Beast mod pack. I pulled that out of the Dire Wolf mod pack and used it for myself. I've gone to a couple ages, and the very first one I made was possibly the best. Look at that. Silverwood. Silverwood. We look. Come on, load up. There's another Silverwood behind that. Now I'm, gonna, I'm getting hungry very fast. <laughs> There's another Silverwood there. But it's just amazing how many silverwood trees there are here. Now there is slowness and mining fatigue, but with just the amount of silverwoods in this world is totally worth it. And there and it, and it's eternal day. So this is perfect. I mean if I get a quantum suit helmet and uh diamond drill, yeah, see look, silverwood over there too. Some more that way, it'd just be amazing. That'll be wonderful when I, for when I start Thumbcraft. And the other ones in here aren't as exciting. So, we head back up here. Come on. Uh, out here, I got a cow farm up and running. Finally, I literally went a thousand blocks that way, basically, to find chickens. I found a village over there, so I got some carrots and potatoes which is nice, but it was terrible. I just basically took a pickaxe and started fresh. I just started going in a single direction, seeing how far I could get so that uh, I could get some feathers for the stuff. Oh yeah, and I have a jetpack. M-tab. I'm not, I'm not making long fall boots yet. Those are a little expensive still. I need a lot of leather for books, especially for, uh, oh, Thomcraft. That's it. Ooh, I should probably turn cover mode back on. There we go. So over here, I also have, um, a little sorting system. Kind, not really. It's not perfect. I'd really like to use red power, just so I can put as many in here as I need. I r currently have it on a 2 to 1 ratio. And all the wood goes here. I've just been grabbing stuff out of that. I need to let it run some more. Uh, let's see what else. I've died way too many times. <laughs> oh, I found a mound over there. That's fun. Lit it all up. If we look in here... 24 diamonds, so we can start doing some awesome stuff. And I found a smite 5 in one of those chests. Just awesome. So, let's get to work on some bee stuff. So if we head out here and grab our beelizer. And let's see. I analyzed one of these. Where is it? I found a valiant drone from one of the hives and analyzed it already. If I can find it, come on, where is it? There it is. So, if we... Here. If we pop this in, 
it's got a long lifespan, just all these nice things. But really what I need right now is not wintry because those are terrible. I want to know what the marbled do. Uh, really short lifespan, slow speed, slow pollination. What do they give me? And the good thing about the Valiant is if I switch this out here, it is nocturnal in a f uh, cave. So I can put it underground and it'll work at night. This is a wonderful bee to have so early on. I'm really lucky to get that. So what I, I need honeycombs. So I guess the marbled. So I need a fast worker. How are these meadows princesses compare? Uh, slowest worker, slow worker. Oh, slower. So I need, it looks like I'm going to want to go for the marbled. What about the rocky? Slowest. But they, ooh. Now this, oh my gosh, this is actually the perfect bee to have. Because it is everything I could ask for. I think it's me rocky combs. Now what do rocky, oops. What do rocky combs give me? Let's run inside because it's about to be night, though. So, rocky... Rocky comb. Is it going to show me? Nope. Okay. So, I don't know. We'll just have to experiment and see. And I lit up the air around here because I've been having trouble with creepers. So, everything around here is all lit up. So, let's go with marbled, I guess. Actually, no, let's go with rocky. Just because. So, where's the one I pop the rocky princess? And we'll pop a drone in there. Let them get to work. Perfect. And it's nocturnal. So, now we just have to, ferns or vines, hmm, okay, so now we just got to let it work and flowers will start popping up around here, which will help with other bees. Ooh, <laughs> that was weird. They have quite a range. So, I'm going to do some work with some bees and maybe get into uh, another thing. Go set up my turtle probably, but also maybe get into carts. Because I like, I like the tree farms, and I'm going to want a peat bog eventually. But for the other ones, I was going to try something with uh, the Steve's Carts mod. And if we go in, uh, cart, it's somewhere, the cart assembler, yeah, that's what we need. So this is going to be relatively simple to make. I just need some gold and some iron and some redstone. And you can make literally everything. It is absolutely amazing, and it can be as expensive as you want or as cheap as you want. So I'm going to get started uh, with bees, and maybe we'll look into some Steve carts when we get back. And we are back. I set up my turtle here to mine to his heart's content. I think I set it to 50 excavate. So I'm a little worried. I got a chunk loader up top, though. Uh, it's loading. Did it just stop? Oh, it's mining. I like how you can see it. Because it shines a different color. It's, it looks like it's hitting tons of gravel. But we got uh, some tungsten really high up here. I'll just probably pull all this cobble out. Because this is going to be what fills up the most. And gravel. There we go. There we go. And dirt. Of course. Lapis on this level? Really? That's surprising. Alright, so let's go back and work on some Steve's carts. That's going to be fun. So I've been doing a little bit of work here in the basement. I got the future B area set up here. Just got a f little bit of stuff. Let me go drop this cobbler off upstairs. Uh, I got the room over there with Steve's carts, and I'm slowly moving these machines down, except for the powered furnace. Uh, what else did I have? I had gravel. Oh, not iron sword. I would like to keep that. And I'm working on getting some energy conduits, because I'm wanting to up my energy production. I'm 
preparing to smelt s or melt some redstone. I'm getting some electrium and all that. But here we have the Steve Cart block. And what this is is a uh, sorry, I had a cough there. Is um, you put a hole into this slot here, and then you put engines in and. You can put tools in and attachments and storage and add-ons. If we look in the uh, in the eye and we look, uh, let's just start scrolling through. Uh, you generally start to see something from Steve Carts pop up. Now there is literally an infinite number of cards you can create, but uh, there's specific modules that do certain things. Get through all that. So here's the. Uh, Card assembler, which I built really easy. I'm gonna want a cargo manager eventually. That's more for mining uh, purposes. I'm not sure what these are. There are other Steve Cart items, but let's see. The attachments should be around here somewhere, as well as the holes, of course. And where are they? they down here? No, they aren't. But this is like something you can create with Steve Cart's uh, pumpkin cart. It actually explodes. Um, oh, here we go. I think. No. No, no, no. This isn't this is it. Come on, guy. Where is it? Ah, here we are. So, no. Still not it. Come on. <laughs> so many mods. No. No. Portal stuff. I really want a portal gun. But I have to kill the wither for that. Uh, facades are amazing. I'm gonna want one of those. Some of those. They're for they're build craft, uh, basically build craft blocking things. I don't know. Build craft covers. That's what they are. Uh, okay, here we go. So. Is this it? Gosh darn it. Show me the add-ons. Here, seriously, last page. Okay. So here are all the add-ons. There's like the shooter, the advanced shooter, cleaning machine, dynamite carrier, divine shield, melter, extreme melter. Th I think these two are for snow. Uh, invisibility core. These are the three holes. There's wooden, uh, standard, and reinforced. They have different things. The wooden is pretty terrible so I'm gonna go with the standard hole to begin with that's just some iron some iron wheels easy enough uh, firework display oh my gosh I'm gonna have to probably make a wooden cart with that wait no I can't too complex complexity uh, no too uh, modu modular there's a cage for transporting animals I actually might put that on a wooden cart because I'm gonna want that there's solar engines um, graphical interface fancy there's handles for stuff. Um, wheels to drive. Saw blade for cutting tools. Hardener. Oh, that's for um, the mesh, which you make stabilized metal. And this, you take the stabilized metal and you make reinforced metal. And then that's how you get the reinforced wheels. It's a very complex process and requires a lot of diamonds. Uh, so just basically all of these there's just tons of stuff there's like side chests and yeah. hydrator large hydrator so it's gonna be fun and there's detectors so I can have it uh, drive around and look now what I'm gonna be wanting is to make a farmer it's a little expensive but not that terrible so you can have it like lay rails and extract stuff it's just insane I actually do not know I think these are all from Traincraft and they do not give me recipes so I'm not quite sure how to get those they might be a creative only thing or if somebody wants to comment with what those are I'd love to know but this is like a tree cutter farmer is what I'm gonna need so I'm gonna need some diamonds and stuff like that I'm gonna want a large hydrator I guess I'll say and not a seat. I'm not going to need one of those. Uh, let's see, what else could I possibly need? I don't need a shooter. 
Uh, I'm going to want some chests, and I'm definitely going to want to use the uh, advanced, or the basic solar engine. Or wait, isn't there an advanced? Uh, compact. I'm going to want to use a compact solar engine. Because they're not terribly expensive, and they are wonderful to use. So it's just going to take some more of these PCP chips, which I crafted before. That's just a big golden iron, which I have tons of. And then more iron and more redstone. And then this is glowstone and redstone, which isn't terrible at all. That just takes... I'm going to need eight of those, which is easily attainable. So I'm going to go gather everything I think I'll need for a very nice, uh, easy-to-use farmer. And I will be right back. And I am back. I've built everything, and we're actually on an updated version. I'll see if you can tell. Let me go downstairs. Big derp on my part. Duh. Lost all the worlds. Kind of bummed about the Silverwood one. I guess there's really nothing I can do about it now. Because that wasn't origi originally part of the Minecraft thing. So I guess I'm, that's going to happen a lot. So I might not even want to get into that. But, um, I've been running the pulverizer down here, got all that up and running, and we have a cart assembler here. Now we have the standard hull, sorry, cough there, uh, standard hull, and as you can see all these slots open up, so when we pull this, all, they all open up. So first we have a hydrator, and that is an attachment, so that goes there. And it shows you real time. So right now this is, and this takes time to assemble too. So right now it's going to take a minute and 56 seconds. So put a small hydrator on there. I'm also going to want a fertilizer. That's an attachment, right? Yeah. And that, what does that look like? I just want to see. Oh, you can't see it. I guess it's internal or something. Now we have the compact solar engine. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, no. Ugh. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, I got the correct engine now. I just had the more advanced one, I guess. Or, yeah, more advanced. And it just doesn't work with that. So now we have the one that goes on top. Let's see, what else do we have? We have the farmer. That's the tool that we want. It pops on the front. That pops the time up even more. Uh, let's see, I'm going to want some internal storage. Uh, quite a bit of it. And we're already up to 30 minutes. So, yeah. So we're going to want to assemble, but we need fuel. And fuel is coal, I believe. So if we hop upstairs... Uh, here we go. It's probably going to take a stack at least and 30 minutes so pop that in there it's all full fuel level is full and if we click assemble the progress starts creeping along so that's gonna be fun so we'll have to just leave this to uh... work and while well, I'm over here I have some redstone smelting up Actually, need to remove this. Pop this back down because I need redstone. Because I have I have the uh, energy conduits that need to be filled. So let's grab some charcoal, please. Six should be good. Come back down here, please. Okay, there we go. And pop it in the engine. And that should assist a little bit with uh, letting it cook up. And it takes a lot of energy to cook up a single piece of redstone. It's crazy. Alright. So, on to our next little project here. The nether. I need uh, magma cream. Let's just dump some of the stuff off it. Stuff, stuff, jeez, off in here that I won't need. I think there's nether bees. 
So, actually, I do need arrows. Give me those. And this here is a special thing. I don't know. It's just something random. I'll show that in another episode, probably. So, let's see if I have anything in here I would... Yeah, let's store that there. And... I'm probably going to need a new pair of rubber boots, actually. Yeah. Let's get a piece of rubber smelted up, and here's some more electrium I have here. And there's a stack of dust. So we take that and go through here. Do I have any wool? I do not. Let's take four of these and make some. And if you ever needed to know how to make rubber boots, this is how. Take rubber. And wool. And there you go. Let's keep these just in case. Um, probably want to charge my jetpack back up. Yeah, let's do that really quick. I don't want to be dead in the water. Oop, that didn't work. So, we'll just pop that there. Bring this down. And grab two pieces of coal. Nope, wrong spot. Hopefully that's enough. I think. No, it's not. Alright, let's grab another. And if I could just find, like, maybe a couple blaze, I'd much rather find magma cubes. But if I could find a couple of blaze, that would be fine too, because I have so many slime balls, because I live in a slime chunk. Alright, come on, finish charging up here. And we are almost good. Please finish. Man, I hate how slowly this thing charges. I need to start working on EUs. I've really been only working with Michael Jackson's so far. <laughs> so let's see. Come on. Alright, I'll just finish off with this piece of coal and... Yeah, that's good enough. Good enough. Let's go. Thank you. And I had an incident with a creeper earlier. Pay no mind to that. So, I'm not really sure what's new with this update we have. I noticed there's more pages than there were before. So, 47 compared to the earlier 44, but I don't know what's on those extra pages. I assume I'll find out eventually. And the turtle... I like it, but it stops mining when you log out. So that's the downside. I wish it would continue its programming even when you start back up. Okay, we're already in a bad spot. I want this to go there. Alright, so we are looking for slimes. Let's fly across the lava lake. That doesn't seem to be too dangerous. Oh gosh, the lag. I need to land. Okay. Let's let this load up for a second. Much better. That was scary. That happens when I crossed my bridge back there and once I fell into the lava, but luckily I survived. So, I'm going to need to keep a close eye on my jetpack fuel. Ooh, the lag. Uh, okay. That didn't sound good. Okay, I'm going to stop recording for a second here. This is pretty... Alright, so, since I'm generating many new chunks... Oh, come on. 
in this, I'm going to cut it and bring you back when I find something interesting, because this is not going to work if I'm freezing up every 20 seconds. Well, I was not able to find out anything whatsoever. It was very disappointing. I traveled several hundred blocks away and still there were no uh, strongholds or magma cream, so I guess I'll just have to come back another time. But this trip did point out something to me. Um, I have Greg Tech. <laughs> Whoops. I forgot to take that back off, I guess. So I will have to do that, and hopefully that does not mess up, because I have this kind of stuff here. I'll probably keep it in my inventory just to see what happens when I remove it, but I guess we'll just have to go back. And I don't think the cart progressed while we were gone. I'm not quite sure. I doubt it did. Oh, thanks for random pain. I had to come back because my jetpack was out, basically. Got 7,000 left. I didn't want to risk it. Let's see if we've made any progress. Down the wrong ladder. <coughs> and. Mm, no? No, I don't think so. We were in there for a little while and it doesn't. Well, maybe it did. I can't tell. Probably have to pop some more coal into this thing, but. Let's take one last look at the, bee at the bees before we end. I'm not getting a lot from them. Although this line, whatever this is, I haven't been able to check it out yet, has been giving me a good amount of combs. Although there's one too. I've just been popping whatever was in there before back in. Right now I won't get into the uh, severe breeding until I have a little bit more honey drops so I can actually see what the bees are individually but I guess that is it for this episode thanks for watching Feed the Beast not much of an exciting episode but we got a lot done and updated why did I just take one of those updated the pack and maybe we'll be able to use that cart next time and set them up and hopefully get steel and start on basically everything else. I'm going to probably have to make a solar panel. Oh gosh, I'm still in caps lock. So that's going to take... Yeah, see I have Greg Tech installed. This is not fun. Because it was not this complicated before. It was the normal... Um, easy. Easy way. Yeah. So I'll, I'll go fix that after this. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.